thank you so much for uh, tuning in Mr. Mitsubishi here in today's video we're gonna check out this it's a 2025 Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV so not the gas version the plug-in hybrid electric vehicle and in this video we're gonna talk about this particular spec it's Canadian spec fully loaded top of the line GT beautiful red with black interior some accessories added we're gonna talk about all that as well and we're also gonna talk about the uh, ways you can charge this vehicle and uh, what this PHEV is all about like what's the battery size engine size charging times and all that stuff so let's get going first of all these vehicles are still made in Japan the uh, the uh, PHEVs and the Outlanders so this one here is 2025 uh, Canadian spec so first we're going to talk about the visuals what we see here uh, and then we talk about the battery sizes and charging in between check out the interior and everything else so being a red diamond that's how this color is called red diamond very often we pair some nice accessories with this red uh, diamond color and because the vehicle has nice black tinted windows this a pillar is black it almost always begs for black accessories so on the hood here we have black hood emblem it says outlander beautiful beautiful hood emblem absolutely love how it looks especially when you look at from a little bit uh, further distance you can see how nicely it pops out yet it uh, plays in nicely together with all these uh, you know the uh, the front grille uh, black theme that we have and same on the side so we have nice black side moldings uh, that's saying PHEV when it comes to side moldings you can either do the PHEV lettering that are in blue like this or you have uh, these Outlander uh, uh, letters that also look good so that again the side moldings they just make it so much nicer and it stands out so much uh, that it's such a good accessory almost all of the Outlanders we put those accessories on just because they look so much better the vent visors i just sold one of those sets of uh, vent visors on my accessory store mr mitsubishi uh, really nice outlander uh, badge right here on the vent visor this particular part is uh 100 oem and look how nice and thick it is it's uh it's a good looking big um almost oversized vent visor but it works really really well uh for this car so a couple of these accessories then we also have uh, all weather floor mats let's have a look at those and have a peek at the interior so this one here is the black interior and we have um you know we have the uh option for the gts you could have this or the light gray or then there's this premium upgraded as well so right here we have all weather mats that already a little bit dirty from all of us here jumping in and out of the vehicle so all weather mats it's a very popular item here for us as well so the PHV has um, here this plug-in hybrid EV badge so it means plug-in hybrid electric vehicle so your vehicle is part electric uh, part hybrid and part just a regular gasoline and maybe let's pop the hood uh, real quick on this one and then we'll talk about uh, the engine and uh, uh, electric uh, components in the car okay hoods up and let's see what we see so we have engine and we have plug-in hybrid EV component part that we can see here with these orange wires here so you cannot miss this uh, engine for obvious reasons with uh, just a regular uh, gas uh, version and uh, engine size is 2.4 liter four cylinder engine and uh, you can see that the EV components are there but the main drive battery is uh, underneath the vehicle there so that's why I really like the drive of the uh, PHV because the vehicle the center of gravity center is a little bit lower and it's just awesome uh, to handle awesome to drive and uh, the main battery that gives you all the EV range is underneath the vehicle and it's 20 uh, kilowatt hour battery and estimated uh, rate uh, here on a full EV drive in uh, Canada is 61 kilometers now there's also several ways how you can uh, charge this vehicle and we're gonna uh, talk about it here one by one essentially so when it comes to PHEV everybody quite frankly always almost asking hey how do you charge this thing how much time does it take to uh, get it charged so I want to show you a few things number one it does come with a charger from the factory so right here in this bag there's just a, a regular charger that you can plug it in in your 
wall in the garage and whatnot and then the uh, the plug itself goes in right here and here while we here we can talk about three ways uh, how you can charge it and then inside of the vehicle we're going to talk about the fourth uh, bonus way so to speak um, this what we see here is the standard looks for all of the phvs doesn't matter if you're getting the base or the fully loaded top of the line the charging is exactly the same the battery is exactly the same the ev range is the same the engine is the same so that's the beauty of it you don't have to upgrade to higher trim levels to get any of these benefits that i'm talking about so mitsubishi calls these uh chargers levels so level one level two so that plug right here um that gets provided from the factory is level while well plugging uh plug-in and that's a hundred and uh 20 volt charger so you stick that in any of your household outlets on your garage and whatnot and you you can charge up your vehicle in uh 16 hours so 16 hours is going to give you full charge level two if you have one of those wall installed charge points or when you drive on the shopping malls there's all the time these stationary chargers those are the level twos they're much faster they're 240 volts and then those are going to be only six and a half hours to charge it from complete zero to complete uh, full that's only if you have enough juice enough power coming to the charger because sometimes i've seen it myself where i find the charger i plug it in and it turns out it's like half the capacity it'll take me forever to charge it up so just keep that in mind so this big boy right here it's a dc quick charger and again this is a standard uh, feature for all of the uh, the phevs and this one here um in about 38 minutes it'll give you 80 percent of uh charge so that's what you can keep in mind so that's meant to if you're just going to um uh you know like those supercharging places 80 percent in 30 some minutes but don't charge with that all the time because that gives so much power to the battery uh that you know sometimes it might be bad for the battery if you charge it like too too much all the time with those superchargers it's only with when you're a pinch so on a normal day-to-day -day basis you want to use this level one or your wall installed level two charger so now we can close the trunk and we can do that many ways we have uh the, the fob we have this here and we also can close it from inside of the vehicle this by the way is a seven seater that we can fold this uh, seats flat we folded them flat here just so you can see how much space there is and this of course we can take it out uh, and we have lots of lots of room so my favorite way to close the tailgate is with kick motion absolutely love that option it's really really cool i really like it so check out how we can fold these seats flat the second row we can also adjust them so once they're out they're 60 40 split you can adjust them shift them forwards backwards it's pretty good gives you lots of um, ways how you can customize the vehicle because it's a gt we have these uh extra privacy shield or uh, blocks the sun if it's a nice sunny day like we have it right now at the moment here uh we can also see how it's uh you know uh affecting the paint so this one is red diamond beautiful sparkle absolutely love this uh paint color so let's close the hood and let's uh spend some time inside we're going to talk about the fourth way how we can charge the vehicle we're going to check out some options what this uh phv has okay let's check it out right now as we already discussed earlier this one here is uh all black interior and when it comes to interiors we have few options let's start it up and we have nice big panoramic sunroof that we can open up if we want extra light if we don't want it we can close the shade and uh that's that so but uh, we always like extra sunlight so let's keep it open so the fourth way how to charge is with this ev button right here so for the phu we have these two buttons one is the innovative pedal uh that pretty much is going to act as a gas and brake at the same time once you release your foot off the gas uh it'll really break aggressively so that's what uh, the uh, innovative pedal does and then we have this ev button as you click through it you see there is this charge mode and in this mode you can charge your vehicle uh, with your engine you can charge the main drive battery so let's find the uh, chart that it shows how it uh, is getting charged 
right here it's my favorite uh, view um, so we can see now that the engine is charging the the main the drive battery and in about 90 minutes or so it's 80 percent full so that's how another way uh, the the fourth way how you can uh, charge the battery so on this one we still have these dials and whatnot that we can uh, select the dry mode power is a really nice one so if you never uh, had the power mode experience before check that on your uh, PHV it's like a, a sport mode so obviously echo normal and everything else so one time I tested myself the EV range I put it in echo I turned off all the AC and everything else and drove like super super mindful with uh, EV distance in mind and I got 92 kilometers on a full charge so it's possible to get a lot more than you know your rated uh, 62 kilometers when it comes to options of course this one has the the tom tom navigation the head-up display has the 360 camera the front parking sensors and the front camera as well so front camera is something i use and i enjoy all the time uh, i get up to closer to the wall or in a car that i want to uh, park and there we go like the screen pops up and then i can see the front camera and front sensors uh, right away it has the my pilot assist as well i've done videos on my channel talking about it and that's the system that keeps you uh, centered uh, in the lane and then in front of the distance and keeps you from uh, veering off left or right so pretty good system i like it a lot of course we have bose upgraded sound system on this one and that's how uh, we're looking so there we go we just checked out this uh, beautiful uh, 2025 PHEV and we talked about a few things that are important for every PHEV owner so thank you so much for uh, checking out this video hope you liked it see you next time around